Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very quick demonstration on how to do that chromatic and very powerful glow on your text and your logos. And if we take a look here, you can see just what I mean. It's probably one of the best looking glows you can get in Photoshop. And this has nothing to do with the outer glow layer style or Gaussian blur plus screen. Well, a little bit, but we'll get into that. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I got this result. Let's get started. All right, so what's so special about this glow? You see if I zoom in here, it is a very soft and a very nice smooth gradient glow and there's some really cool chromatic aberration going on here which basically just means that the RGB channels are being split into two so you can see there's that yellow and blue popping out of the corners there and same thing here with the red and the cyan and the most special and coolest thing about this glow effect is that it just takes one click and it is free this is a free Photoshop action that I made and it is available on my website that is DuranSupply.com but I do want to show you a little bit about how this works and how you can use it in your designs. All right, so once you download and install this free action pack, you can see that we have six different actions here. There's two for the glow with two different RGB splits. So you can either have that yellow and blue split like I showed you in the beginning or that red and cyan split. Then there's that emboss, which basically just gives it um, kind of some depth and more of a VHS feel. And then we have three different lo-fi noise actions here. And these just give different kind of noise patterns to your image, again, for that lo-fi feel. This action is very simple. All you have to do is type out some text, drag your logo in here, and then play the action. So I'm gonna show you right now just how fast it is. So we have our text in here. All I'm gonna do is click on that first action and click the play button down here. It's gonna bring up this dialogue, which I highly recommend you read. Um, basically, it's just saying that you should run this on a 300 DPI document. It just gives your logo or text a better glow. And then when that action is finished, it's going to be a small object, which if you open it, you can then adjust some parameters of the glow. So I'm just going to press continue here. And we can see that the action does pretty much everything for us. It is quite simply just one click to get this really beautiful glow on your text or your logos. And best of all, it is free. This is free on my website. And of course, if you wanted to, we could add some emboss or noise to this. So I'm going to show you the emboss. Once you have that action selected, make sure that you also have your glow group layer selected. Then we can click play. And as you can see, we get that really cool embossed look. And if we wanted, we could play one of these lo-fi noise actions. And that will give us this, uh, this kind of cool noise we have here. Of course, there's three different versions for you to choose from. So, I mean, experiment, play with it, see which ones you like, and you could use those in your designs. Now, of course, I want to go over a little bit about how this works. So if you watched my other video on Film Glow, it is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, we have these two layers in here. One of them is the actual glow and the other is the chromatic aberration. You can see that we get that chromatic aberration just by messing with the layer styles of that layer. So all we did was knock out some of these channels. So we have the blue deselected, but of course you can play around with this. You can see we get some different chromatic aberration effects going on here. And then to see and mess with the actual parameters of the glow, we can open up the small object here. So I'm going to double click on this layer thumbnail and it's going to bring us to this document. And of course, we just open this group and we see we have all the partitions of our glow. And if you watch my other video on the film glow, this is the exact same thing. We are basically progressively building this glow with increasing Gaussian blurs on each duplicate layer. So we see if I turn all these off and then turn them each on one by one, we can see that we are progressively building this glow out. And of course, you can mess with the actual settings of this just by going into the effects of the smart object and changing the values of the Gaussian blur. And we also have this color balance adjustment layer on top of this group, which is clipped to it. And we can see that if we mess with these values in here, we can change the tint of the glow. I left it at sort of a blue tint or cyan tint, just because I think that's what looks best. But of course, you can play around with this and find whatever fits with your design, whatever you like. But yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this small object document and enjoy the beautiful glow that I have here. And if you want to get this, all you have to do is go to my website, DeronSupply.com. Once you're there, just scroll down all the way to freebies down here, click view all, and then at the bottom, there is a dialogue to input your email. And if you sign up, you will get an email with all of these free downloads for you to add to your toolkit, including the chromatic glow, which I just displayed. So that's basically it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see what you guys make with this product. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching, and peace out.